live here in the Big Apple. Oh my God, let's fucking go. Wait, do that in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Salam, Kushads. Walaikum, Kushads. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the Crude Project. Episode two of hopefully many. Uh, looking forward to many. If this isn't our last. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag canceled? Uh, hashtag, well, yeah. I mean, of what what we're probably going to cover, yeah, when, uh, when we're probably going to get some heat. Um, but, hey, this is a place where we will not shy away from speaking our mind. We will not shy away from giving our own thoughts and opinions on certain matters that do interest us and we think some... Some people should, if not everyone, uh, should pay attention to. Um, we'll have we'll have some interesting stuff to bring for you guys today. Um, Want to get into it? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people have already heard of uh, this topic, kind of just spreading like wildfire. If you said, oh my, hey, Oprah hey. is uh, <laughs> big. She's big in the news right now. Uh, a lot of people giving her a lot of criticism. She's also physically big, too. She's getting rather large these days. But, you know, when you make as much money as she does in a in a year's time, you can buy half a Maui. And, um, yeah. And with that, let's get a little deeper into it. Shit, I mean... What we're seeing now on the on the news and and in in the social media is pretty pretty depressing and pretty pathetic uh to say the least to be honest and I think I and myself myself and and you and Kevin here I think we all agree that we're we're speaking uh for the for a lot of people here that we don't like what we see from Oprah and sadly Dwayne fucking Johnson too or or like he's the he's one of the last people that I actually thought that I would be that I would be watching standing next to Oprah begging people for for support for money yeah for the the Maui wildfire for the people to help them rebuild and and help them through it through this hard, hard time multi billionaire multi millionaire if not billionaire both very well off and both in a in a position of in a in a very comfortable position to help help they themselves just them two could literally help the entire Lahaina region rebuild and, it. and oh, rebuild yeah. it just on them on their own. And at the end of the day, it wouldn't cost them all that much, to be honest. Because, to be honest, what is it going to be like for them, right? Charitable event that they did. These people always write off their little charity shit. So at the end of the day, that's, that's, a, that's something that's going to be a little bit of a benefit to them, right? Yeah. The the one crazy thing is like you can see some of the past purchases that Oprah's made on land in Maui. Now her and The Rock pledged ten million. Now when you listen to it a little bit closer, people are like, Oh, they each gave no, they pledged together ten million. Oprah has bought land for six point six million on her own. Dude. Absolutely ridiculous. How? How do you buy land that fucking cheap in Hawaii? Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get how. Let me explain to you how. So the people of Lahaina and Maui have been getting calls. These are people who are coming forward saying that shady investors and realtors are trying to buy their land out from under them for pennies on the dollar. And that's probably exactly how Oprah manages to buy so much land. She she owns a massive ranch that she doesn't fully live on, and she owns various other land around the area as well. So she now owns, I believe it's in a 
upwards of like 2,000 acres of Maui is owned to her. Um, That's crazy to think about. Yeah. It's fucking crazy to think about. And then to know that fact and then to, to know that she has offered none of that land to any of the people that were displaced that were affected by these fires. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, she has plenty of land and plenty of estate that she could have offered for all of these people, if not, uh, maybe not all of them, uh, but at I least mean, a good fucking portion of it, right? She probably could. 2,000 acres is a lot, saying that they yeah. were... I mean, they were probably not even... Uh, the entirety of everyone that was burned, I don't know the exact you know, distance of it, but I'm pretty sure it was nowhere near a thousand acres. Yeah. But uh, to not be, to not offer that land, like some other people have done and, and there, for, let me just put it, put it to you this way. Cristiano Ronaldo, world famous megastar footballer, soccer player for Americans. Um, he has, um, he has a hotel I believe I don't know if it's in it's in <laughs> I got onto that a little too late. <laughs> <laughs> the rewind hit. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh man. <laughs> uh, um yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo. He has a he has a hotel, a pretty nice hotel that's in I believe it's in Marrakesh, Morocco. Mm, he owns it. Yeah. Okay. It's it's it's, it's his hotel. He owns it and the earthquake that that just uh, happened in Morocco just recently, it was a seven point something magnitude of earthquake, and it's it was pretty devastating. Yeah. Thousands of people have died from it. It was pretty devastating. Um, lots injured and and a lot of people displaced. Cristiano Ronaldo offered he opened the doors of his hotel to the people that were affected by the earthquake to take refuge. Yeah. And he provided all support, aid, food, any any type of support that those people needed, he offered at his hotel. Wow. And then we have someone, and he is not someone who is... He's not a multi-billionaire. He, he's, not, he's not someone who is as rich as Oprah. Come on now. Or even The he's, Rock probably he's not, not even. No, he's not even as rich as The Rock is. Probably half of what what The Rock has, he probably is. That's probably his net worth. Wow. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I could we could probably fact check, but if he's probably worth around like you know four three hundred four hundred mil, um, something like that. Not sure, but yeah, The Rock. If if he's not a billionaire, he's pretty close. He's pretty close to it. And then yeah, with Oprah Winfrey like that, with 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 the um, the lump sum of money that she has, with what she's worth. And the amount of land that she has and owns in Maui. Yeah. And she's grabbed that land in shady means, too. It's so a lot of land. It's a lot it's, of land. It's questionable. It's very questionable how she's acquired that land in such cheap prices. Yeah. When you can't even buy that much land or close to it here. Like, go to, like, fucking Kansas or something, you know? Top your red <laughs> red boots. <laughs> Wizard of Oz shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, so back, I think uh, the, we could try and ch- I think we have the article later. We can check it in a little bit here. There were um, so back in March, mm-hmm. it was one of, I believe, her last biggest purchase she made was of 860 acres she bought. Mm-hmm. And I believe that was six point six million, if I'm not mistaken. We'll pull it up here in a second. That was her most recent in March. Now I'll see if we can find it later on. There was a famous ranch that was just sold for thirty six million dollars. And get this. The realtor will not disclose who he sold it to. The one who who then uh represented the buyer. They don't know. And it was just sold. 
Uh, I'm not going to point fingers, but if I were to put my dollar to donuts or however that fucking saying goes, I bet Oprah just bought that. I would only assume Oprah bought that, and it was a massive ranch. Let me let me dive even deeper. It was either Oprah or BlackRock, Vanguard, or State Street. So either one of those. I think very uh, credible. There's very, a, very possible. Yeah, there's a um, because I was I was looking it up uh, the other night about the whole Maui land grab thing, and uh, there's there is a realtor company that owns the the most owned land is by a realtor company mm-hmm. in Maui, which is I mean it's crazy. There's people that there's indigenous people who've lived there for like nine generations. Mm-hmm. Like there's a famous surfer I don't remember his name. Uh, he was a victim of the wildfire. His family lived there for nine generations. Yeah, and. Now he's being told, like, we don't know what's going to happen with your land. We have no idea. We're, it's up in the air. And so many people are scared that, you know, the, the state is going to have to come by and get involved. And then they're going to try and shell out. They're going to divvy out something. Dude, it's fucking absolutely ridiculous. What, like, what do, you, what do you even mean by What do you mean? What, what do you mean? What do, what do you, you mean? mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, uh, for people who don't know what we're talking about, that's a Jennifer Lawrence meme. <laughs> From hot uh, ones, wasn't it? <laughs> from the hot ones, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That show, the hot ones. She was on that. Was like she was. She was eating at this crazy hot wing or whatever. And she yeah, was. This isn't even the hottest one. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Because she's over there bawling her eyes yeah. because it's so hot. But yeah, dude, it's 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 absolutely fucking mind blowing to think that someone just lost their house and land to. If a a natural natural phenomenon fire oh, yeah. that occurred because of global warming and climate change, I mean, like, what do you even mean that we don't know what's going to happen with your house or with your land and blah blah blah? Yeah. Um. You know what I think it will happen? Um. Rebuild the motherfucker's house. Uh. Help rebuild his life yeah that's his land that's his property that's his house that was destroyed and uh in a, in a supposed natural occurrence. natural occurrence which anyways man i mean I, I could i could it's it's really fucking pathetic to 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 think that people of of Oprah and 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 Dwayne Johnson's stature would come and ask the people of America to help donate money yeah. to help these people rebuild their lives. I mean, how are we even rebuilding these people's lives when the government, the governor of Maui, is 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 saying that we don't even uh, we don't even know what's going to happen with your land. We, your land is no longer your land. It was it was it was gone in the fire. Yeah. There are literally some of them. Yeah, people were told that that uh, oh you oh, you lost your land. Sorry. Yeah, the governor did recently come out. I want to say maybe like a week ago, and he's trying to, with ever his power he has, attempt stop the land grab from happening, so these people don't get like some technicality or something swept under. But uh, back on the uh, the whole ten mil that they the two of them would give. Mm-hmm. That money would not even directly directly go to the people of Maui. That was going to a government organization fund. So it's not going straight to the people of Maui's pocket. It would go to the governing body and then. So you can only imagine how fast that's going to make it to the people of Maui. There are other foundations. Um, actually, what's the guy who played in uh, Aquaman? What, what's oh it? yeah, Jason um, Jason Momoa. Momoa, he came out and provided a different, and it was more of a straight to the people, which kind of makes you think. And you know, he didn't, he wasn't very blatantly like, you know, hey, yeah, Oprah's doing horrible things, doing, but he wasn't very happy about it in the video. Uh, but he um, he provides a, another organization that you can donate to. Mm. That seems to be more straight to the people of Maui, the people who did lose their homes and stuff, and not to like a pooling body who then d- 
decides where the money goes to. But here's my here's my uh, question though. Why the hell should any any one individual donate any 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 number of dollars to help these people when the cost of living is so goddamn high? Everyone is already struggling in their oh, yeah. own lives to pay for their day to day goddamn sp- expenses. People are people can't even afford their mortgages right now. Oh yeah. That's why a lot of them we're leave. being yeah, and we're being asked to help donate to to help these people. Um, how about hey, Oprah, you help them because you have the immense means that you can. Uh, how about well, forget about Oprah if she doesn't even want to do it. How about uh, we have a government that can go and directly help them with um, if. Our government can afford to send, and we'll get into this too, uh, 24 billion fucking dollars, again, just this last week that was approved, to send to Ukraine. 24 billion dollars, again. If we can afford to send 24 billion dollars to Ukraine, with along with all the other billions of dollars that we have been helping sending to Ukraine, how about we take that $24 billion and we rebuild Lahaina and we help all of those people? Right. Where are all the children, by the way? Where are are all the children that were supposedly off school that day? They were at home and this fire took place. Yeah, th- I think the death That's toll not, that is ha- like that hasn't been talked about. Yeah, I think the death toll is now like 115 and 60 plus or more are still missing. And they're still, I mean, you know, you're still searching. The government can do more than enough to help. Yeah. But here we have Obama. How much what was the dollar amount? <laughs> he was talking about like $750 per 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 household or something like that that he was one time payment of $750 oh. or something like that. Oh. Uh, that he was going to help them. And then later on afterwards, because of the backlash that he received for what the hell was that bullshit, then he went and started um, he started he started as I, I, I'm not sure about the exact dollar amount, but then he went and sent like some some amount of million dollars to supposedly help them. Oh yeah, but yeah, where yeah, is as that? A whole. Yeah, yeah, millions as a whole. Where yeah. is that? If that if that help has arrived. If that help has arrived, why are we, why are, why do we have these people of Lahaina still complaining that there there's no aid? Yeah. Dude, their their land is literally being taken away from them. We have our government who is more focused on sending money to Ukraine and helping Ukraine when they have their own people Hawaii is your own goddamn state. You have a a major crisis in your hand that you should be paying attention to, that you should be caring for your people that just got hit with this supposed natural occurrence fire. That should be their main focus right now. Yeah. Focus on helping your people first. How about that? And then maybe, maybe we could focus on other people. But even then, why the hell are we helping uh, Ukraine? Why is our tax dollars going to Ukraine? Well, I think that's probably a NATO. A NATO. Th- well, oh, wait, yeah. Ukraine, I mean, we, could, actually, we could go down that Ukraine rabbit hole, but that's... that's. I don't even think Ukraine's no, in NATO. No, it's being petitioned right now. It's They're pushing really freaking hard for, for Ukraine to be part of NATO because once you, Ukraine becomes part of NATO... It's war with everyone. It's war with... Then they can officially... U.S. can stop the proxy war that they're doing with Russia mm. through Ukraine. Then they can officially have a allied NATO forces declare war on Russia. And that's when they can officially send troops, send tanks, send any amount of military uh, arsenal equipment, whatever you want to call it. That's when the real war will happen. That's when our last episode will be. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's when the Satan two missile comes over. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the size of that thing. Yeah. Well, massive. Yeah, it's again. It's been a good one. It's been fun. Dude. Yeah. No. The uh. The uh. That's gonna be rough. But anyhow, that's that's a whole nother Jesus Christ. But just to like, just to like, basically not get lost on 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 the ukraine matter or whatever just to like come back to to the to the whole oprah winfrey basically exposing herself because that's what she literally did she exposed herself she literally had firefighters mm. and security to make sure that her land was protected she made sure that she had security that her land no one was going to be yeah. on her land. Yeah, natives no wouldn't one, go on to it yeah. after. No, yeah, no one will, was going to use her land as refuge or, or whatever. Right. And she had firefighters to, to private firefighters that she hired to make sure that the fire was going to be contained and not going to spread to her land. Allegedly. Affect, uh, allegedly. Before the fire ever even yeah, started, she had those. Allegedly. Yeah. But also, did you see? So she went on to a, she went on to TV after she got backlash. Yeah. For the whole ordeal, when people were like, they put it on the internet and they were like, are you kidding me? Like, this is disgraceful. The amount of money you are willing to put up for what you make a year and then turn around and ask the regular U.S. people, like you said, who can't afford rent, food, natural, you know, amenities. Uh, She went on to a TV show with one of her good friends and said she was victimized. She was uh, belittled. She literally had her own little pity party on live TV. When when she was, uh, they asked her, like, yeah, you're getting a lot of backlash. She was like, yeah, uh, you know, I'm not really feeling too great about it. You know, when, you, when you're just uh, not as happy or something like, like she makes it feel like it, her world is falling around, uh, down around her because now the internet didn't like her idea. And it's like, she's so out of touch with what, what she was doing, like she just doesn't get it, or she just doesn't care, dude. And then immediately they switch to her outfit. It's like, oh wow, your outfit's so nice, it's so blue. Like, dude, really? And then like every, it's just, it's just blinders. It's a horrible game of just blinders. And these people just, they either just don't see it as like a problem, or they just don't give a shit, and they just, they just keep trudging forward with whatever the fuck they, you know, they're talking about. Yeah, and Mel Gibson was was one of the people that basically trashed her as yeah. well. Mel a Gibson. few people actually. Yeah. Kid Rock, Mel Gibson, and uh, uh, Howard Stern. Mm-hmm. A, a few people that have been over the years. Over the Rock, Kid Rock has actually disliked Ob- uh, Obama, um, Oprah for a long time. Um, yeah. When you have someone who is showing off her dress, when you should be addressing a serious matter. Yeah. It goes to show you. Yeah, Come she's on, out man. of touch. Kevin, did we want to try and pull up, uh, I guess, the... Let's see if we can get some of the articles, I guess, if we have. We got here. Aloha. Breaking news. Don't go to Hawaii. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, this one is from March 2023. I don't even remember the exact date. The, there was a string of fires. So the most recent one was the beginning of August. But this is months prior. She paid six point six million for eight hundred and seventy acres of land. The, now, now look, look, look. In March, she accrued about an acre. She had, or I'm sorry, a thousand acres. Motherfucker, that was only a few months ago, and she's now said to have two thousand. So between March. In the wildfires of now, she has acquired a thousand more acres. Like that. Dude, um, it's it's honestly it's honestly despicable to be honest. I, I'm just I'm just appalled by this whole thing. Well, you know the crazier thing. So further down in the article, it goes between, but you know, like what people think or what other people think. The people of Maui were actually on her side. They were starting to think like, oh yeah, she's great. She, you know, she's getting this land, you know, she's gonna keep it sacred. It's gonna be, you know, just used. So like, well, of course she's gonna push that. She's gonna show people 
right. that she is on their side and she's going to... Pro- God knows what narrative she pushed to those people to have her on, their, on her side to, to, to make them believe that she's buying this land, this, this aboriginal land. Right. To protect it and for them and keep it as a sacred land. Yeah, keeping um, it natural and just as it is. Yeah, okay. Sure, buddy. Uh, I would I would really like to know that's the little speech that she gave for them. Well, she probably didn't give anything, but I mean she so she was said to keep like so in this land I believe she bought can we scroll down on this a little bit? I think um Oh, where are you? Residents and officials and other questioning whether Oprah acquiring the precious land is beneficial. And from some of the Maui people, they were saying like, you know, oh, she's going to keep it in beautiful land holdings, undeveloped. And she was evidently hiring locals to help with it and everything. Now, this is like, look, look, even even the official Hawaii senator, uh, I wish we had more people like her. Now, wait, wait till this wildfire after it's all said and done and she be, somehow becomes name of that land. They're not going to think that anymore. So months ago, she was a saint, right? Because she's buying land and she's keeping it natural, sacred. She's hiring people to take care of it. Once the dirt comes out, which which it's yeah, it is coming out and it's slowly coming out. Yeah, because I mean, you got to imagine many of the people probably don't think you know they know she owned, you know, she bought eight hundred sixty acres, you know, and that was that was in I believe their their news, so. You know, oh, today finding out Oprah bought. Oh wow, she's keeping it a ranch. And I actually um, scroll to the oh shit, scroll to the bottom of this. Wow, that's a nice house. Um, <laughs> massively massive. Yeah, thirty six hundred acre. Oof, last year appears to be for sale to adjacent to her property. Huh, that's weird. Huh. Um, would you look at that? Yeah, that's kind of weird. How convenient is that? Yeah, right beside it. Well, that's pretty nice. Um, where I thought it was somewhere on here. There's a um, I, I might have to we we'll have to try and look it up later. So there's a a famous ranch that was just sold on. Uh, look at that. Oh yeah, go, there's go back down. There's go a whole lot down. of big names: Zuckerberg, Bezos. Oh uh, yeah, Oracle's Oracle's owner Ellison. If no, for people that who doesn't know who who Larry Ellison is, he is the founder of Oracle. Oh really? Mega, mega tech company, yes. Ah. He, they're another giant giant tech company, just like uh, just like Amazon, Microsoft, yeah. and 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 Facebook, and now I'm called. It wasn't. Meta. It wasn't that. Larry range. Ellison is there. There's yeah. an, there's another the ranch, Kevin. Um, we had to. I don't know if you can maybe try and Google. What is the name of it? Oh, that's the one, Dillingham, Dillingham Ranch has been sold. After being on the market for some time, yet unaware who the buyer is. Dude, 2,740 acres. Yep, 36 On the million. shores. Yep. So this actual on land. On the Oahu shores. Are yeah. you, dude. It's, it's famous. So they actually, they, they filmed movies here. They filmed I know. And guess what? The, uh, um, what, what is this, what does this remind you of? This remind doesn't this remind you of the idea of their smart city on the shores? Oh, it would be good, especially if you have somebody uh, you know who owns a tech company to live there too, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, tech tech two tech two giant tech companies, Zuckerberg and Ellison, and then you have someone like Oprah Winfrey over there just land grabbing as well. Yeah, this would be this is their 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 perfect little spot, and they've been. For people who don't know who who the hell BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street are, wake up, do some research on them. Because they literally own U.S. and the government. If you don't know them, uh, yeah, and this is our final episode (laughs) for some last time. (laughs) BlackRock is fixing to kick in this door right now. When the tiles fall out, we'll just cut and be like, boom, 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 boom. be right back. <laughs> We're not coming back. We're not coming back. God. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This, uh, See this the mic being <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Just, just hold up, hold up. Just give me 30 seconds more. 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, so, yeah, there's uh, they've been trying for a really long time, and they're trying to build a, a, a 
a smart city run on completely renewable energy and, and, and clean energy. And this is one of their this is one of their main locations that they have been trying to start the project on. Now, yep. l look at the coincidence. I mean, when you start putting two and two together, it does not equal five, by the way. I mean, sorry, it does not equal four, by the way. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it, racist. It, uh, yeah, it, uh, two, and two plus two apparently equals five. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> it's racist. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, it's, uh, if, if two plus two <laughs> equals four, then it's racist. Are these the aliens <laughs> that we were talking about? <laughs> <laughs> aliens are here. Yeah. That <laughs> so so for people who don't know what the hell we're talking about about this two plus two equals five thing, there was <laughs> there was this clip of uh, there was a clip of um, it was a teacher, you know, wasn't their, it? Your no, it was just some some it was like a news source, some stupid. Yeah, but wasn't the lady they were interviewing wasn't it a teacher? Yeah. No, it, it was it wasn't yeah. a teacher. It was yeah, some young girl, like with, the, with that weird haircut and everything. Yeah, I thought she was a teacher, like an actual God, like, teacher. Who, who knows, I man? Think, who I think knows? She was an but educator. She, oh wow! Sort of okay, please educate me that two plus two equals five, please. Because two plus two <laughs> equals four is racist. Racist is racist. Uh, uh believe. Oh, come on, bro. Think about that for a second. Two plus two does not equal four and it equals it could equal five it could equal six it could equal seven because if you make make it out so that it equals four it's racist um bro, on that live was, tv that was one bro on live tv that just was one of the wildest things i've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> just say it with a straight face and just be like yeah you're racist if you think two plus two is four you're fucking racist buddy sorry to break it to you <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> the guy who reacted to it was great. Oh yeah, his, was his like, immediate. Is, you is this the aliens we were we were talking about? <laughs> the government comes out. The aliens, they're real. I saw, I saw them. They were on ABC <laughs> this morning. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> uh, Anyways, um, yeah. What else we got? What else we got on the? Oh, we, can, we could. What about that? So. I don't. I think we talked on pretty much everything. I remember the um yeah man the Just the, the lady ahead. from the it became a TikTok, mm -hmm. but it was actually pulled from the news. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's an off news source, not 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 the same one. And yeah. It was actually surprising how she kind of went into you. You remember? I think we shared it with one another. You remember what? I think you shared it, right? And it was the lady she was she was talking about. She was like, "Oh, what a coincidence! How the mainstream media." Doesn't want to talk about. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. She she started going into points. Now a lot of people are kind of on the fence about that specific news. I don't remember the name of that news company, but uh, yeah, she started going into big detail, and mm -hmm. I started to to look into like um, more or less the fire itself. Excuse me. And there are. Saying, you know, some people are going on the whole laser, space laser, but then there also is the idea that the the power lines. There was actually a video of where the trees were hanging over the power lines and like the companies weren't doing anything and it caused a fire. Mm -hmm. But some of these fires were so hot. And I mean, I don't I again I am not a fire entologist, whatever you would call that. I'm not a fire specialist. You're not a pyromaniac? I'm not a pyromaniac. <laughs> but to see... I now, believe it's an arson expert. Yeah, arson. An arson expert. Oh, is, that, is, that, is that the term? Yeah, yeah they have arsonist. Ar arson detectives that oh, come out. Oh, shit. Arson, I, I think arsonist is someone who... Someone who, who just commits it. Who, the arson someone, expert, I guess, is the one yeah. that comes and figures it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ars the arson person... Arsonist is the person that sets someone the fire. Someone who sets the fire. And then they have an arson expert, like a detective, yeah. oh. in the fire department come out to... Uh, basically decide or determine what caused, caused the fire. Oh, okay. oh well, god damn it kevin look at little kevin kevin over here he's got his oh, treasure trove he's a treasure trove of knowledge fox right when we don't have knowledge he has it <laughs> he is google search for us but no so like so i was a mechanic for years and he is chat gpt i he was being <laughs> he's no he's better than Bing. Um, oh, i'm sorry the he saw he's the cars with AI. that were melted 
the glass <laughs> was melted. Now, to melt glass to a fucking liquid is hot. To melt the fucking calipers off of a car is fucking hot. There are pictures where you can see where it's just this trail of aluminum. I don't know the melting point of aluminum, but even with the gas in there, like, that's fucking hot fire. Now, I'm not saying like, oh, okay, yeah, fire is fucking hot. What do you mean? More or less how hot that fire was, and you can see the path of where it went. To melt metal. To melt, it? yeah, to melt metal, and then you see where it's going, and it's just like, dead stop. Nope, it's not going here. It's not going. It's you can actually see like a line. See if we can pull up a picture of it the, from like the overhead. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's like almost like a line of the fire, and like right over you see like rich people's homes. Mm -hmm. Now this fire was so fucking hot that you're telling me it was burning the calipers off of cars, but it it didn't jump a tree. But allegedly, I guess it did jump. I think the news later said it, it jumped over. Four lanes of, of a highway? Oh, yeah. I saw that. Four lanes of a highway and kept going. But now wind is going to be a factor in this. But of motherfucker, course. if it's trees, it's trees. Are if you it's looking for a specific picture? Um, uh, let me see. Uh, It was an overhead picture, and you could kind of just see it, it, was, it was rather broad. Oh, what is that? That's a good one. But that doesn't show. Um... Oh, what about that one off to the... Yeah. That's an interesting picture. No, oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. No, yeah, in, in hands. No, dude, the thing is, it wasn't just that. The um, So there were multiple eyewitness Lahaina residents. Yeah. That that came, came forth and... and and testified or, or or said that they before the fire started they witnessed a green light energy uh, a green beam of light yeah being shot towards the sky dude what is that about um so now we're causing we're causing thunderstorms and and lightnings and and yeah. Like, what What the hell is that? I mean, so, not to debunk that, but as a possibility. So, like, let's say the other story that people are, are going with is that the, the trees over were, like, on power lines and stuff. Yeah. Now, if if the, the neglect of the people not trying to take care of the, the overhead trees, the transformers. Now, when a transformer goes, you will get green color. Now, broad daylight you're not seeing that across the sky. Yeah. And I believe this was supposed to be... I, the video I had seen, which this is a while ago, I thought we could even find it now. Probably should have tried to find it earlier. Mm -hmm. I forgot all about it. Um, why is that car still there? Why is that, why is that blue car? Yeah, what, 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 what's up with that? Oh my God. See, that, that's, a, that's weird. See, man, that, that's the a, that's a shit that I'm talking about. How is, huh? How why is it not there? Where'd it go? That's weird. So it's 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 like the intro picture, but they don't. <laughs> that's that that's that clickbait shit. There it is. Uh, wow, no. that's so that don't I mean, make sense. That had to have been driven there. There's no way, dude. Mm, yeah, no. I mean, yeah, that they they could. That's that could be an argument. They had though. to have been. They're probably those people had to have been driving. Yeah, that. it's probably with the whole blue car. Th like anything blue was not like catching fire. Like yeah, th dude. If that's that car was there, when when that, if that's, that's the aftermath, <laughs> dude, that's it. You're you're done. It was it was an inside job. It was. There's no two ways about that. That if had that, to, yeah. If that had to have been driven. If that car was literally just there the whole time while the fire, no, that's that's BS, bro. You know the other crazy thing. Imagine now, if that car was uh, owned by one of the one of the rich people. <laughs> right. Uh, also, you there was hey, another hey, picture we crossed over. Don't burn that car. Oprah Winfrey was in that car. Don't <laughs> burn it. The crazy thing was like so. Again, I'm not a weather as expert or anything like yeah. that. But I saw a picture where it was like the boats. Boats were in the water. Oh yeah, and I they saw were that too. Burned and gone. And that's what I'm saying. The rage of this fire. The the immense 
passion that this fire had, and it was just like engulfing everything in its path. And it even went out into sea. Like the the heat and the flames were able to catch a boat on fire. But and, and, this, can, and this wasn't. And this I wasn't guess we can't that find the, the the picture. Dude, I, I don't s- remember where it was. Now, let me see. Where, I let me saw see that. I, I saw it. that picture too. I came across it. Uh, yeah. And it wasn't that. It was this. Some of the boats that caught on fire were way out in the water. They were out there. I, I mean, mean they, yeah, they were out. They were in on the, the docks, water. sure, but they were far out on the docks. Even still, to like the water, the the fire to scroll all the way out of the possible, very possible. It's water, you know, it's wood. Yeah. To scroll all the way out there and then catch all the boats on fire too. Like the path of the fire, I I guess is, it's just is what it is. You know what I mean? Fires are gonna go wherever they're gonna go, but I, I it's just. It's a coincidence. If you if it put it to just bears what it is, you boil it down, it's a real coincidence. The path that the fire hit was only those of indigenous and the people who are a little bit more poor mm-hmm. and those who were living a life on by a thread. Right. And refused to sell their right. rightful land. Right. They didn't for, want to sell it. For nine generations. Yeah. Yeah. For so. many, many generations people have been living there and they didn't want to sell it. And, you know, just, just a weird coincidence that they definitely got hit. And, I mean, there's a, there's still no news of any elite, you know, uh, Oprah, uh, well, what's uh, the Amazon CEO? Jeff Face- Bezos. Jeff Bezos. You got uh, Ellen there, DeGeneres. Buddy. Ellen DeGeneres is right, is right across as well. I think that's that's the picture I was looking for. So it's a it's a picture and it shows um I think it's like Oprah's house and Ellen's house and there's just like this straight like right in the middle just engulfed and it's just like both sides are just green green grass and I'm just like how Yeah. Dude, and all these people with their houses there but none of you opened your doors. None of you helped these people like Someone like Cristiano Ronaldo did for the for for uh, an earthquake that happened. Right. Oh Dude. yeah, she's got more than enough land. Like Oprah has Morals. so much land. Let me see. Uh, oh yeah, there's a there's a picture of the boats over there. But I mean, that's just like one small snippet. But there was a there was another picture that showed a whole a whole yard full of boats, a whole shore full of boats. What if we just tried Maui Fire uh, Bird Eye? Um, don't like. Another thing is, man, um, like you just mentioned, we haven't seen, we haven't seen anyone provide any any real support yet, any real help yet. We haven't seen anyone actually step in to resolve the issue. When when it when it when this it's a it's a big issue, right? Oh yeah. I mean, these are your American people, right? These are your American citizens, and and if you cannot help them first and help them as fast as possible, well, we shouldn't be worrying about other people as well. This is this is a story that we've seen too many times, the, right? The, the, I mean, forget Think about, about forget about the elites trying to help them. Forget about the, the Ellen trying to help them. Forget about Oprah trying to help them. Forget about Dwayne Johnson trying to help them. Or Jason Momoa trying to help them. Where is the government's help? Where is the government's undeniable help? Ukraine. Where is... <laughs> <laughs> it's, in, it's in Ukraine right now. By the way, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but years ago, the U.S. Air Force... And DARPA, you know that shady organization. Yeah, um, I've heard of them. They basically admitted that they can control the weather. Um, I think this is the system's called like HARP, A A A. No, yeah, sorry. man. H A A R P. And so, like, they have this system that can like actually control the weather. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Like cloud seeding? Like yeah, cloud seeding no, kind of thing? No, it's it's or? not like cloud seeding. So it's more of like what I m- what I mentioned earlier. Of, uh, it, it's even what what Kevin is saying is very accurate. What he's basically that is true. That's true, and you know the the whole thing about shooting the the laser into the sky and whatnot that I was yeah. talking to you earlier about. That's one of their methods that they're using to generate clouds and. 
create thunderstorms. But also, they would never admit the intensity. Oh, yeah. Right? So, oh, so like general public thinks, oh, you know, a little bit of rain, mm-hmm. maybe some snow. So, guess what? Way worse. This could, I mean, this is all speculation, right? Right, right. This right, is right. all this is all right, speculation right, right. and and this is just our thoughts on 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 the on the matter. So like don't sit there and and quote us on everything. Don't sit there and say, "Oh, these guys said it, so it, you know, hold them accountable for what they're saying." This is our two cents on these topics and you can take it for what it is or obviously go do your own goddamn research. Yeah. We're just saying it like we see everything it. that we're saying Go do your own goddamn research. We're saying we're giving our two cents how we see it. This is just purely from what we have seen, and we're giving our two cents about it. Yeah. So, yeah, you don't have to believe whatever the hell we're talking about. You we're don't. Just calling and it like as a we matter of fact, it, don't you know believe I mean? whatever the hell we're talking about. Don't believe it because if you do, that tells me that you are, you are that, literally, you are the sheep that I actually despise. You are falling in the line of believing other people. Whatever they say, you believe them. Whatever you see, you believe it. So whatever we're saying, don't believe it. That's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, yeah. We're, we're just question here. Question everything. Yeah, question everything. Oh, yeah. So, but this is from, from what we have seen. Now, I'm going to go down the conspiracy theory route here. Who's to say? Do it. Who's to say that... Uh, they're not doing this and intensifying, like Kevin was saying. We don't know the intensity, but what yeah. if what if they're amping up that intensity and creating those monsoons and hurricanes right off the coast of some of these cities? Maybe maybe they're uh, maybe instead of making a you know regular storm, it's just a cloud that rolls through and just drops lightning. Not a drop of rain. Imagine that. Mm. Now that would be scary. You just have a massive cloud rolls over and it's nothing but lightning strikes. No no rain. And imagine if you didn't have rain prior to yeah. an island that could catch fire. And then you just rolled a storm over that just... No, no, no. That's just speculation, right? Yep. Right. This is just, just a you know, conspiracy that if the government that admitted that they could control the weather used such potential instruments instruments how, how when was the last time that um california experienced floods they experienced far more wildfire than they do anything else exactly because yep. of their lack of uh rain and their the lack of water that they that that state receives or at least the southern southern region does oh, yeah right? When was the last time that you guys saw California, Los Angeles area, Orange County area, Irvine, and, and you know, all of these, s- the southern region get flooded and rain for, what was it, two, two days, three days straight? Wow. Is that recent? This was a, this was a couple, mon- couple to a few months ago. Yeah. Wow. I know. I didn't even hear about oh, that. Oh, yeah. I have... I have family that lives there, and they're telling me about... Oh, we're playing footsies? We're playing footsies? I'm trying to always find somewhere <laughs> to put my feet, and it's, I'm always, like, on top of your feet. No, I'm no, like, no, 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 bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> footsies. Bring it back. Bring it back. 